this is the uh, part of the show where we have to give you a warning. Uh, this part is not for the faint of heart. It's our underdog money line parlay. Uh, don't expect this thing to come through because it's going to be north of 40 to one. Sometimes it gets as high as like 100 to one uh, some weeks. My favorite underdog this week, I hyped him up earlier. I like Burnley plus 300 at Southampton. Don't think Southampton is very good. I think Burnley and the, uh, and the Saints are really, there's not that much that separates them. They play things very differently, but I like uh, the offensive regression to come for the Clarets this weekend, plus 300. Give me Sean Deitch. BJ, what about you? If you've listened to our YouTube show before, you'll know that I have a vendetta against a few teams, and this is one of them. Troy Ace plus 250 against Stad de Reims. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go into it, but if you want to go look at Understad or InfoGoal or feref.com, go ahead because the Stad de Reims team was incredibly overvalued last season. And this season, they haven't been great as well. They're bottom five in pretty much every single offensive category. And yeah, Troy Ace is a newly promoted team, and they're not that great, but there is no reason why Stade de should be this big of a favor over really anybody in France right now. And I just have had a vendetta against them for a long time. I can't beat them. And this is another situation where I'm just going to bite the bullet and hopefully I finally defeat them. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Anthony, what about you? Colin is plus 220 on the money line. I like them. BJ already talked about this in his Bundesliga section when he made the pick on Colin to uh, get at least a point here. I think they have a good shot to win this match. Colin, one of the more improved teams in the Bundesliga. They were really struggling the, uh, the, during the pandemic year, but they've been much better this year in pretty much everything metrics-wise. Leverkusen getting a ton of XG over performance from their secondary guys like Florian Verts, who I like, but is not as good as his finishing suggests, and Musa Diaby, who has scored six goals from like two expected. It's just not going to continue. Leverkusen will fade, and hopefully the fade starts and continues after the beatdown at Bayern. Hopefully it continues against Köln. So I like Köln plus 220. If you wrap all three of those teams together, that's Burnley, Köln, and Troyes. That's a 45-to-1 payout. 